welcome to today's video. I have Adrian here with me. We are actually about to build a chicken coop. Build a chicken coop. Well, actually, it's more of a chicken run. But we're um, going to put a chicken coop in it. We're going to put a chicken coop in it. And um, the company Vivor, I believe is how you say it, V-E-V-O-R, sent me this chicken run, and we are going to put it up. Right behind me is my my chicken coop and run, but... And but this is where this one's going to go. We're going to put... We weed eated an area I'll behind me. Adrian did. To put this one up because I got some little Sarama chickens. And some little Bama. And we're gonna put those separate because right now the Saramas, I, I'm not letting them out because I'm afraid they'll get hurt by the bigger chickens. So we're going to start putting this together and just kind of bring y'all along. Okay, Adrian is opening up the boxes. This one comes don't, in don't two. Use knives unless you're, unless you're a Please don't cut yourself. Skill. Um, this one here is a six, a six by six by nine by eight by six by six dome roof uh, cage. It says it can be for a hen house, duck coop, rabbit run, whatever. So anyways, it comes in two boxes like this. We already opened the other box last night. And if y'all hear some noise, it's my husband's semi. He's out there doing some work on it. So anyway, or you might hear my chickens over here. I'll swing around and kind of show y'all. <laughs> it's kind of hot out here, so it's 90 degrees right now. It's wet under here, so it's good. So, anyways, oh, truck's off now. So, we are fixing to get started. Alrighty, y'all, we are getting started uh, with the instructions, following along with what it says to do. So, Adrian is starting. I'm just going to kind of zoom out so y'all can kind of watch us. And there we go. Okay, now we're getting started. One thing we did that I didn't show on camera was when we set all the poles out, uh, they have little labels. And so we matched up, you know, the same, the same, uh, matched them up. So we had all of this top and that top in piles. So it was easy to just grab and put together. And the instructions were pretty easy to follow along. And actually, I could not have done this without Adrian because he's good at this. There was a few times that I kind of got uh, twisted around and was like, oh, didn't know what was going on. And then he's like, mom, look. So I could not have done this without him. So here we are. We're just starting to put it together. Go back. Go back to the other page. You're upside down. Oh, go back. So were those supposed to, what was supposed to be on the corners? Okay. Ease. Is that what it says? This is how it goes like this. Yeah, I was making sure you had the right thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was and then how are you supposed to put these? I was trying to figure out if they were supposed to be a certain one, but they're fine. They don't matter. Does it matter? Put them like this, okay? With the whole thing down. Okay. Does that work? And we may need that once we get it in place, we'll get some of those stakes that Dad has. You see how there's places where you can do that? They have stakes with it. Oh, it does? Okay. I'm walking down the street on clouds instead of the concrete I'm dancing through. Everything's about to come my way. Nothing can ruin my date. No matter what anyone does or say, I smile at fools. No, I don't care because I am on my way up and I won't stop. I won't slow down. Steady on my feet. Now, now the dome pieces. You've got to connect them with two of these. Get one of these on and go back go like this. Wait. Hold on, just a second. Look. No, I'm right. That. Oh, yeah. Two of them Look, together. Right here. I see. Like that. And then there's going to be a piece over the top. They connect some corners. Oh, okay. that corner, this corner. It's not the dome the other way. Okay. So I don't know if you would. You might be able to make this one wider, but I don't want to. I thought different. I won't slow. I left some places in here where y'all could hear us kind of talking. And you can see he actually did help me out a lot because I was looking at the instructions and totally wrong. He's like, no, mom, I'm right. And yes, he was right. So um, the only thing is I did not realize that I hadn't moved my camera. Like it was still kind of tilted down when we were putting the pieces together on the ground. So there, there is some footage where we're climbing on chairs and things, putting stuff up and you can't really see us. And I apologize for that. So I'll speed through those parts really fast. Um, I did adjust my camera later, but unfortunately, I guess I wasn't paying attention like I should have. I know what it's like to be broke, yeah. 
I know what it's like when nothing goes your way So I'm gonna let myself enjoy The fruit from this lucky day Yeah, I am on my way I won't slow down <laughs> Yeah, I am on my way up. I won't slow down But there was actually no cars. I was just gonna sit in my car. I did not always say that. But since I ran early, I guess people aren't out. Oh, look at the baby in the dirt hole over there. Oh, it's over yeah. here. Mingo tapped me last night, Adrian. <laughs> Okay, I readjusted the camera. Now Adrian is putting the door together. And this door actually has a top and a bottom uh, door. So if you wanted to just open the bottom door or just open the top, you could. We decided to um, just make it basically one door. There will be two latches that we have to open. But I just didn't want to have to worry about one door slinging open and then the top and all that. So we just didn't cut the um the fencing there in the middle you're supposed to cut it in the middle so that you have two separate doors but we just kept that together which i'll show you a little bit later in the video you should leave that in mom oh well, i said breeze blow breeze blow i mean maybe you like, parts of it i'll be like in the car you put like voiceover i was so hot i didn't know like, just the tiny breeze oh, that would have been the breeze oh. <laughs> y'all it was so hot and we we're doing this in the morning uh it was before lunchtime and there was like periods of like jade like where the clouds were kind of overcast but there was hardly any breeze every now and then a breeze would come through and it felt so good we were sweating like crazy uh, the humidity is like just crazy but it was so, so hot out there. Oh, let me just tell you, hot. Okay, hey, y'all we had paused y'all for a while we were putting on the the fencing or whatever and we ended up putting some extra wire that they gave us across here because there was nothing really to shape it 
and then we're zip tying it and we use two pieces to go across here so Adrian is cutting the second piece so once we get that all cut and put up I will come back and show y'all but so far we've got so far we've got the door and we still have to do of course the fencing and stuff on the front and back but yep it's coming along okay y'all we took a little break come to find out there were two of these um chicken coops i get i don't know if they meant to send me two but i'd already tore them open and everything so we put them together and made them into one and i stopped recording because i felt like there was just too much going on <laughs> but we we finished it up and we decided on the door to you could open the top half and then the bottom half have two separate doors but we kept them connected so I can open it up like oops sorry like this to be one door and uh, but if they were going wild you could put them open the bottom one the yeah and later I may decide to but for now uh, here it is y'all want to meet our chickens <laughs> And the chickens that are in here are my, I had got for my birthday a set of, a pair of Sarama chickens. And then we went ahead and put two Bantam hens in here also because we felt like the rooster needed out, more girls. Oh, my chicken wheels out. And I'm going to give y'all a little tour of my other one too. But let's go in here. Anyways, okay, I want, we have the, this coop I showed y'all a video over a while back. I had reviewed it, and uh, this is what they're going to be staying in because it's perfect size for them. So at night, they will go in there to go to sleep, and I will shut this door for extra protection. The most time-consuming thing was the zip ties, putting all the zip ties on. Um, but this is my set of Saramas that I got for my birthday. The male is Cooper and the girl is Sweetie. And then these are some I have raised. They're like a year old now. Actually, yeah, I think they're about to be a year old. This is Little Gray. And over here is Coco. And her back was a little bit messed up from our other rooster. I think he was, she was his favorite. So maybe her, her back will grow. They don't, anyways. So I want to, I may have already said this, I want to figure out a way to elevate their water better. But anyways, we attached, we used some of the wire that came with this and kind of attached here and in some places up here. Um, and then this back door I'm not using. We just went ahead and put the wire completely across and we didn't cut out for the door. Um, one thing I will say was the top here, it only has the one bar going down the middle. So it was a little bit more flimsy. So I took some of the extra wire here and I don't know if y'all can see, I put here, here, down here. I just kind of strung it, strung it along for a little bit more stability. So, um, and then over here, like you're using two separate pieces of wire. So I, they came with extra wire that you just kind of rope together on these where it came together I just we just zip tied those and you can see again these are where I put for extra stability and then I will go outside and show you what we did over here let me go out and show y'all we'll get him in a minute one of the chickens got out the little babies I have On the outside, what we ended up doing was right here where there's a little bit of a gap. We had some extra fencing stuff and we filled that gap and tied that up. And my son is going to, eventually we're gonna uh, weed eat all this because my husband put up these panels so that our cows can go over here and eat all this because it was all closed off and they couldn't get to it, but now they can. So we have a little um, panel set up. But anyways, we're going to weed eat this so this will all be down. And as you can see, here's the back door and it's just completely over. 
And I really like how this has the covering, the tarp. We secured here. Yo, and, meat chipping. Our favorite oh, rooster Oh, and this ever. is our favorite rooster chip, chipping. But there is. Oh, there is that coop. I really like it. And like I said, I don't know if they meant to send me two, but we had already tore it open, so we just put it together and we made one big one out of it. And while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all my other chicken coop. Um, in a minute, he's fine. This is our other one that my husband and boys built the run, and we used some of the material we bought, like some of this wood was pre-treated to be outside, and then some of the wood we had, and then we also used at Tractor Supply, this wood here that's like a type of pallet was actually what they get like their lawn mowers and stuff on and they just give it away so we used it kind of as our wall but down at the bottom my husband uses these big treated boards all the way along and there's wheel wheel they named it wheel because they said that his hair looked like wheel from stranger things just grab wheel grab him he won't let you grab him though but anyways, and then the top, we do have some spots here that things could get in, but we lock our chickens up at night. But my husband had these tarps. They're sort of sheer, so it kind of helps with the sun, but it still lets some light through. So let's go in and I'll show y'all. Um, my door, I have to fix because, to fix because the, chickens are getting out. the chickens have dug and they're getting out. Y'all see that little orange one over there? He mean. Really freaking mean. He attacks you. <laughs> she says that Mingo, our little rooster, attacks her. He doesn't attack me. But in, we have these longer pallets I kind of prop up because the chickens like to climb on it. Um, and then I have my other chicken coop that my babies and mamas been staying. Because I have a bunch of little babies. We have 10 babies. And so they stay in there at night, but we're fixing to transfer them into the big coop. And actually y'all have a swing and actually my white baby was over on it swinging. There. Yes, the white baby over there who got on it. No one else ever swings on it. And then I have another uh, pallet. This was, someone was giving it away and I put it out here and now it's kind of became, uh, chickens have pooped on it, but they like to climb on it. And from rain, it's kind of not the best. Yeah. But anyways, oh, there's Mingo. That's the one who, he does not attack me because he knows who I am. He does not attack me. Um, I keep my chicken feed in here. We have an electric door at night. Uh, usually I just shut the big door and then at night they go in. But we have this big door that we close in the winter. But when it's hot, we have this screen door that is protected with um, some hardware, hardware cloth, I think is what you call it, and we close it at night. Now inside of here, we have, we have these nesting boxes that my husband got. We have two back to back, but we're going to eventually move those onto the wall because we had a snake in here and it, I'm so scared now. The snake was underneath them and I don't like this because I can't see what's under it. But inside of here, um, it's kind of messy, but it's a chicken coop. My son, Bryce, built me these chicken roosting bars. And underneath it, there's like a, what I call my chicken. Some people call it a SHIT tray. I call it a poop tray. But I put this stuff, I think it's called PDZ. I put in there, and you can scoop the poop out with a kitty litter scooper. And so I do that ever so often to keep that clean. And they still like to dig in here. But my husband and boys made this. My husband and boys, mainly my oldest boy, they welded the all this together and then we had some old um, metal that he bought from a guy, cheap. Got the windows in here. Um, I like it. I mean, yeah, it's not the prettiest thing. It's not gonna be one of those Pinterest uh, ones. Oh, and then we have this little baby girl here. Oh, a fly was on me. She has been sitting on eggs. And I have this bag of, they're laying eggs in here now. This is a big mama. Big mama, what are you doing? What are you doing? See, there's an egg in there. Someone's laying an egg. We have a fan because it's really hot here. And 
real life, you know, I probably need to get cobwebs down, but hey, it's okay. And my son threw grass in here the other day. Um, and we actually grew a couple of pumpkins that grew in their pile of manure. We have all the chicken poop and stuff I put in a pile and pumpkins grew. So they've been eating this up. And there's of course their feeder, water, but yeah. There it is. And Black Betty had died, I still forget. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna flip around now. I look a hot mess, because I've been out here working all day. All day. Me and Adrian. I could not have done this without Adrian, because Courtney was a helper though. She brought water and she helped us when we needed stuff. But me and him did all this, and I could not have done it myself. But I will have all of this linked down below. So if you're looking for like it's a chicken really cool. run, it is. I really like it. It's cute um, too. Yeah, Courtney says she likes it better than our other one, but. If you look from the house, it looks cute. Yeah, she says from the house that this one over here is cuter than this one. But this one's a lot bigger and it's a little more sturdier. This one's good, but I mean, it's not gonna be as sturdy, but I think it'll be good. Especially for these little chickens and the fact that I'm gonna be putting them up every night into their house. And that's what they've been sleeping in in this big run and so i think they're gonna be okay but thank you vivor for sending us this coop vivor vever i don't know how you say it but thank you for sending us this i have all the information down below y'all go check them out especially especially if you're in the market for a chicken run um it's cool it is cool and they have different sizes they have the more of the pitch Roof like and that one is. Let, has a door and you can let them out and run around in the grass. Yeah, so yep. And alrighty. Thank y'all for watching. I'll see you next time.